an African story formerly produced for radio, presented and read by Richard Nichols. attendant replies the room service is for mrs winters please confirm voiceover the earpiece that's correct sorry about the interruption sir said the pool attendant to mr lewis i shall have the swiss apple tart please confirms dean in the afternoon the sun moves over the park and clip and mr plus one are having a relaxing time near the river bank did you hear the news a human was attacked by Kefor, an angel of death, remarks Clip. Not a person for gossip, replies Mr. Plus One. What's changed, old boy? We used to chat at great length about goings on around here, said Clip. I prefer to keep out of others' personal lives and concentrate on making the best of what I have in my life, replies Mr. Plus One. Once again, Billy the Elephant and Mom Silly Sally are splashing around in the river and breaking the silence between the two good friends. Harry remarks, well, once again, these lions are not playing the game. If they don't eat, we ain't getting any. I have told you before, sitting on your ass in the long grass is not proactive, said Bill. On the hunt, Tandy Sky and the corner Following behind is Nandi. The chase is on as two lionesses, the corner and Nandi, break away right and left of sky. Rose Water and her pack watch as a young male water buck drops to the ground under the power of the corner. She was followed by Nandi bringing down a male impala. Tandi and Sky move in to help by defending both kills as five hyenas come in trying to get a share. Sky the Lion turns on Rosewater. Stay away if you value your life, Bellow Sky. Spot shouts, leave well alone, he will kill you. Things get worse as Kefor and Angel of Death make their way to the kill. Ben and Sarah notice the two male lions start moving off from under the tree. Both Lorata and Sandiswe, who are not in good health, stay behind. Change of plan. We will take the two remaining lionesses, said Ben. Sarah steps forward to take her first shot at Lorato and hits the lioness on her left shoulder. Meanwhile, Sandiswe starts to move in. Sarah's direction at a fair, steady pace. Ben is quick to warn her of the pending danger. About two metres away, Sindiswe stops short and starts grooming herself, then lies down on her back with a playful look in her eyes. An animal transport vehicle arrives to collect Lorata as she is being moved onto the sheet to help lift her onto the back of the vehicle. Even this activity does not disturb the young lioness. Sarah aims a firearm at Sindiswe. The dart hits the cat in the shoulder of her left front leg. The lioness seems to go down under pretty fast. Ben calls the loading team to fetch and load her in the back alongside Lorato. Back at the hotel, Dean is on the lookout for Linda. He is aware that asking staff her whereabouts and the room number could cause her to leave. Suddenly, 
as the inquiry into her location would surely come to her attention. Police had made it clear that the visit to the hotel was not to be given out. Dean is now ready to put his plan into action to take Linda as his wife. As time is running out, they should have been married by now. His friend has already been in contact with him over not turning up at the court four days ago. Linda plans her trip but is unaware of the pending danger concerning Dean, now staying in the easy stay only one floor below her. Dean is also at the mercy of his friend James, who could decide not to pay for any extension over the seven days. Two lionesses are finally loaded into the animal transport vehicle and are on their way back to the veterinary clinic for medical treatment. Sky and family stand their ground against Rosewater and crew. Three female hyenas are badly mauled by Lacorna and Nandi, with backup by Sky. Later that day, Sky and his pride are back under the old oak tree. Finally, at long last, they were able to get some food down after Rosewater and her pack gave up challenging them for the food. This was unprecedented, as hyenas, where food is concerned, do generally not just walk away from the food fight. A lengthy debate held under the old oak tree about what happened. The feeling amongst the lions is that Spot may have intervened in some way. You've been listening to an episode of African Story, read and written by Richard Nichols. Join me again for another exciting installment of African Story coming soon.